Along Overlook Beach's shoreline Wednesday, contractors were hard at work. A large dredge and several bulldozers pumped and poured sand onto the coastline as part of a project to restore the beloved beach's eroded shoreline. We weren't able to show our residents what uh, a full Overlook Beach looks like this past summer, and we're excited to be able to show them in the summer of 2025. The map shows you that, that where the existing shoreline is, the area that's outlined in blue is where there's going to be beach, and that will be all filled in. This week, 70,000 cubic yards of sand from the inlet will be pumped in to build out the beach. Town officials say the project is a long time coming. This is a coastal erosion area. Unfortunately, we tend to lose more sand than we gain. There are seasonal changes, and uh, Mother Nature has been throwing the town for a loop the last six, seven years and we've been losing sand at an incredibly high rate, and we're just not naturally gaining it back. The state will cover the $1.8 million price tag. State officials say the project is a part of a larger restoration plan for the area. This project is actually part of what they call Fire Island Inlet and Shores Westerly. It's almost all of Jones Beach, uh, Jones Island, so it's gonna kick in all the state parks of Gilgo Beach and the, and the Sore Thumb and all those areas. So this is a big stretch, it's a $38 million project, and it's really gonna make sure that we're able to do two things, right? provide that recreational asset and resource to our residents of Long Island and for visitors that come from all other places, as well as to protect the mainland. The town supervisor says one goal of the project is to protect Ocean Parkway from a potential breach, like the one that took place during Sandy. It's very important to our tourism and to our community, but public safety is the most important aspect of it, and that would be the Ocean Parkway. The Overlook Beach restoration should be complete by the end of the day Thursday. In Babylon, Kieran Dillon, Pix11 News.